Hello, everybody. Welcome. Now, I just got kind of an analogy for this reading, as I notice I'm not wearing any jewelry. Um, and the analogy was something has been hiding um, that you really liked. And I'm not sure what that is, but the analogy just came through um, a painting that I noticed, an oil painting, uh, one of my very, actually my very first oil painting ever, is being covered up by the shelf, well, the stand that I bought for my aquarium. And I just noticed it down there and I went, oh my fucking God, like I must have looked at it a million times. I never realized that I didn't move the picture from behind there. Um, and I really like that picture. I mean, so many people have tried to uh, snag it off me over the years. Like my, my parents tried to get it from me. My uh, cousin tried to take it from me. My aunt tried to take it from me. My mom tried to take it from me. And I just never gave it to anybody. And I always said, it's my very first oil. Nobody is ever going to get my very first oil painting ever. I will keep it forever. And it's been covered up because it's almost like sometimes when people want something, it's like you have to put it away for a bit. So then the, the want and desire for it calms down, you know, like, cause people, they just get this shit in their head that like, you know, they see something and they find it irresistible and like they have to have it like I don't know what this new Pokemon thing is that came out but oh my god people are going ape shit over it and I don't know what it is but I'm guessing it's a fucking waste of money because it means nothing because Pokemon means nothing but when people are in that world they think it means everything and they will fucking come and rob you blind just to get some type of Pokemon figure in their life okay people are crazy Okay, they are crazy, crazy, crazy. And you don't always know the reason why people do what they do. Right. And then when you kind of like start to figure it out, you're like, Oh my fucking God, like, is this for real? Did somebody do this just for, you know, the look of it? Is that, that why they did this? Because it looked good. It took me years to do that. Of course it's going to look good. It's called get your own. I, I, I understand why people want to live in the woods. You know, they want to live away from people because People are dangerous. So let's see what's going on here. Oof. I'm telling you, we got the community card. And it was in reverse where it's like, you know, that love can go in a different way. Right? And then we've got tradition, okay, with beyond and choices. So it seems like, okay, I haven't even fucking shuffled all the cards yet, but it seems like somebody, um, I don't know, man, somebody around you saw a vision of, you know, like we're, we are all very telepathic and however way our dreams and our gifts come through it's different for everybody some people see um the future in their dreams other people picture things other people get deja vu all the time those are all magical gifts okay even remembering your dreams is a gift okay so i feel like somebody around you okay they saw your choices they saw that you live in the in between that you don't conform to society, that you see life as a kind of a big box, you know, an oyster, and there's plenty of things to choose from, and there's plenty of things to do, and you're not set by a certain tradition, you're not set by this is how a community is supposed to be, this is how you're supposed to love, right? Like somebody is beyond, okay? any book that's ever been written on how to do something because any book that's been written on how to do something is just that author's perception on it. That's it. It's just their opinion on something. It's not the law. You know what I mean? If it's your life, you choose the laws, you choose your Bible, you choose how the story gets written, not somebody else. Okay. 
So I feel like maybe you have this kind of special um, power where you don't let four walls hold you back, right? You work within those walls and you still see the choices that even if they're being hidden from you, right? And somebody doesn't like that around you. They don't like that you're in the in-between. They don't like that you can go beyond. They don't like that you have a lot of choices because to them, life is one rule, one choice. You have to do this. This is what the philosophy of life says. This is what the purpose says. This is what my father said. This is what my mother said. And that's how I'm sticking to it. And that's really sad because their mother, their father, again, that was just one person's perception, one person's ideals, one person's morals that doesn't make up the rest of the world. Okay. Nor does it even make up your children. Once your children are here, they decide they get into their own worlds. They decide what they want to follow, what they want to preach, what they want to love, right? What they want to incorporate with their life, right? Mommy and daddy can't hold the reins on people's lives, even though there are very weak souls that allow their parents and their community to define who they are right? There is the gay community that have to announce they're gay all the time. They have to say in a room, I am gay because that's how they identify with life. There are other people who walk into a room that don't have to identify who they are when they walk into a room because they become a part of the room. They are there for an experience and so shall it be. People need to define time and space where other people want to live. Okay. And those people who want to define everything, who want to categorize everything, who want to say, this is who you are. That's where you decide to be. No, we're all here together, which means as land, we are in an ocean. We're all swimming together. We're all living together. We're all doing things together. Why can't we all be a community? Why does it have to be your way or no other way? That's not a community. That's one person's perspective. Okay. And one person's perspective to live that way for your whole fucking life is brainwashing. You've been brainwashed to believe something. And instead of figuring out life on your own and what it means to you, you're just going to conform to what they said. Okay. A lot of that is in our parents. A lot of that they were in described and inscribed with their parents, right? To be a certain way, to act a certain way. And then when we came out that next gen, that third generation, okay, we decided to do things a little bit differently because our parents in that second generation flopped. They did everything wrong. They couldn't have been more wrong if they tried. So if you don't agree with anything they're doing, then why are you living a life in agreement with how they perceive it? Right. So it's like somebody, somebody just, I mean, it goes back to somebody just not liking you, not liking your choices, not liking the person you are and not being able to live beside you because they have to look at you and they want you to be the way that they are. And that's just, that's abuse. That's bullying. You know, that's people don't know what a bully is. And, and it's somebody who tells you, you can't be yourself. It's somebody who tells you how to dress It's somebody, even your spouse, you know, they're telling you to dress a certain way that they're bullying you. That's, that's bullying you. You need to dress the way that you want. You need to express yourself the way that you want, not the way that your spouse finds you attractive or your spouse wants you to look. They want you to look like that way because they're shallow. And if you don't look a certain way in their eyes, they're not going to like you. That's not love. Okay. Conforming to acting the way that somebody wants you to so that you don't um, disrupt the lake. Uh, ripples appear for a reason. Water is supposed to move. Waves create energy. Water can't just sit there. It will rot. Water needs to move. It needs to oxygenize itself. You know, it needs to, it needs to be cleansed. It needs to be moving. It's energy. Energy always needs to be moving. And look at this Techromancer. As I'm talking about that, that's all about energy. Energy needs to move. It needs to flow. And if you hold on to it, if you stagnate people, if you don't let them change, if you don't let them move while you're doing whatever you want, that's going in the opposite of what the universe is trying to portray as life. Okay. So we've got a couple things going on here. Somebody, um, you know, 
fighting to keep a lost world from being hidden, but it's been lost. You're in a new world now. People, like, here we are, my sister and I, we just went out for a second. I, I really needed to eat and uh, I wanted to put my paycheck in the mail or in the in the bank and there was these, you know, 80 year olds in the bank and she, the banks are closed today because of November and stay. And, uh, she was like, I can't get money out of my account. And, and he's like, well, I guess we have to wait. And you know, they're 80 years old, 85 years old. And I'm just like thinking to myself, like people are losing their opportunities in life because of these 80 and 90 year olds that are holding on to space that shouldn't be here. That, that, that medicine is keeping them here and they're disoriented and they're not in a world where they know anymore and the world is passing them by and they're being kept alive by medication. And I don't know for the life of me why we as a society would want to keep our loved ones attached to medicine for their whole life. That is non, you know, like that's generic. That's not, that's not authenticity, you know, like that's not authentic. That's not, that, that's not original. That's allowing people to live on borrowed time and that borrowed time, they have to give back. It, it, and that's why I thought to myself, you know, so many of my loved ones, my so-called loved ones have all had life changing operations, life saving operations. And I have it. Neither is my sister. We're here because this time is supposed to be ours. We never had a cancer scare. We didn't have to have open heart surgery. We didn't have to have any surgeries. We had, we've had nothing that has saved our lives. Therefore, we're not on borrowed time. Anybody that you know that has had life saving operations or transplants or medication is on borrowed time. And I know that that sounds awful to say, but what else do we call it? They should have died. And because medication, they keep them around. They keep these beautiful souls around because they don't want them to die. But guess what? In any other world, they would have. So they're living in a world that's not theirs, right? And I don't know whose time they're taking, but medication is not the answer for everything. Sometimes death is the answer. And those people that are holding on for way too long in a life that's passing them by, need to go a different way. Okay. So it's like, I don't know who this person is that didn't let you live in the world in which you were born into, right? You're, you never, they're, they're trying to fight for something that was never a part of your life. Therefore you get to leave and it's almost like an SOS comes for you. See how those people are, they're on the, uh, island and the boats there and they've got the flare you know they've got the smoke coming up and that's their sos you know coming to get them okay and, and that's what happens right i mean i think that's what's happening i don't know maybe the boat's going by them i don't know but that's what i see and i see that um somebody was going to try to steer you away from the community you're supposed to be in because they said you had to be somewhere else. And I don't know who the hell thinks that they've got this kind of say over your life, but they're losing control. And that's when, you know, energy is about to move because the ones that have been in control of your life no longer have control of it. So you might start like acting kind of a fool, acting a little out of ordinary, acting a little woo. I just got my license for the first time because you've been so held back from a community and going beyond, right? You, there's people that have special missions and the universe wants you to do something. And if you haven't given up on it, they will give you that boost. But unfortunately people like to do witchcraft and, and spell work and dark work against people that are on mission because they just don't want them to complete their missions. They don't want the world to be a better place. They want to somehow get ahead while they push everybody aside. That's not a community builder. That's a one person show. And this is all based on one person's perception. And that is just that their perception and theirs only their opinion does not form your life anymore congratulations and if you want to talk a little bit more about this i do do personal readings okay whitney moonshine at gmail.com i'm supposed to be saying it at the beginning of the reading and i forgot but if you made it till this far we do have personal readings on all the time every day of the week okay you can give me an email and i will email you back oh look at this this card was just uh Sitting over here, I, I missed it. And that's the Lady of Cups. The Lady of Submersibles. 
the mermaid, the one that's in the water. Okay. She's got a mermaid tail. She's breathing under there. That's her land. She's got all of her fish around her. She feeds the community. She feeds the waters that she's a part of, right? They're not going to be able to stop you from completing your mission, from doing your work, right? So, I mean, to hell with them. And if you really need to talk more about it, um, then give me an email and I would love to talk to you about it, okay? And thank you for liking, subscribing, and uh, being a part of this channel. Okay, I'm so grateful for it. And I'm so grateful for the way that it's growing. So thank you for that. And thank you for liking. And thank you for um, commenting everything that you do. And um, I hope it resonates. It's all for entertainment purposes only. If it doesn't resonate, don't worry. Okay, there's always going to be another one coming. And for those that did resonate for, be careful. Okay, and follow your path. Follow your voice. Follow your footsteps. Not the voice of somebody else. Okay. Peace out. Happy, uh, war day and yeah, word to your mothers.